Welcome back. Um, for this part of the show, I'm doing, the, doing a demonstration. I'm making a banana pudding pie. Um, so first you need a skillet, a burner, new stove, whatever, uh, milk, two sets of sugar, uh, egg yolks, cornstarch, vanilla, and butter for later, a whisk, and a rubber spatula. So let's get started. Okay, so she adds milk. And you add your first set of sugar. And then you whisk together. You let that heat up. Okay, and while that's getting hot, let's mix together our second set of sugar and our cornstarch. You're making a slurry to thicken the pastry cream for the pie. If anybody doesn't know what pastry cream is, pastry cream is actually just like jello pudding that you get out of the store. That's the one you make from scratch. Like the one your grandma used to make when she made banana pudding and she had to cook on the stove a long, long time. It's the same thing. So, so as it's heating up, take a few minutes to do that. All right. And as that's waiting, you can add your egg yolks to your slurry. You mix this very well. That's a key point, because you do not want starchy pastry cream. It's not taste good. You want your pie to be extra yummy for all your guests. Not being my friend today. Yes, the bowl's too small. So, since she's supposed to look like that, like a thick egg yolk paste. And if you want to make this recipe and you can't find egg yolks in the store, which you really can't, because they don't have them on the egg whites, you just separate the eggs to the consistency that you need. And I would say that you would be smart to use a kitchen scale, not use your cups for measure, because it's not going to come out right. Kitchen scales are always your friends. This is heating up very well. Once your milk and sugar mixture gets to warm to touch, mm. As you can see the steam rising, we're gonna take some of it out and pour it straight into the slurry. Forgive me. We're doing this because we want them to get the same temperature because if you put eggs into anything hot, what does it do? It scrambles. <laughs> so we do this once or twice and it'll start getting thin and it will get warm. about it one more time mix it up mix it nice and good get to the bottom nice and warm you add it back stir vigorously and please do not leave your stove because you have scrambled sugared eggs that you do not want okay. so you continue to stir And as you continue to stir, you want to stir all the way around and make sure it's in the bottom so that nothing sticks or burns because burnt starch is the worst thing ever. Okay. You're going to fill it getting thicker. You're going to see a lot of bubbles. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what you want to see. Keep stirring. It takes about five minutes depending on how much you're making, but we're only making this for a single pie, so it shouldn't take that long. So keep stirring. It's coming. As you can see, the smoke is coming up. That's what you want to see. You ready, ready for some pie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. Yeah. Okay, it's coming. You can take a break and let it breathe, so you don't break your hand. You don't have one strong hand and one not strong. Good you go. So if you ever miss upper body at the gym, pastry cream is good for you. <laughs> All right, and we're almost there. Come along. 
So basically, you want to stir this until it's thick, like pudding does when you buy it out of the store, and it starts to get that, you know, kind of jealous mentality. But only thing with pastry cream is, you know, when it's ready to go, when it starts to bubble and pop up in your face. You don't want it to pop too much because you, you burn yourself. But when it starts to bubble and thick and popping up, you know, you get to that. Can anybody bake? Anybody bake? Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, all bacon is real bacon. If you got to fix it and put it in the, in the oven, it's real. Don't nobody tell you different, okay? Anybody like anything specific? Anybody like banana pudding or any other kind of pie? You love banana pudding? How about you? Oh, these crops are nice. Oh, it's nice. You can make that. As you can see, it's starting to get thick. Can you see? So, a few more minutes and it'll start to bubble. See, like it's bubbling up. That's what you want to see. Again, keep stirring because it's still will scorch. Okay. And take it off the eye now. Okay. And then, once you take it off the eye, you add your butter and your vanilla. and the vanilla gives it a better flavor and the butter gives it a nice smooth texture so it's nice and glossy and extra yummy because you know butter, butter makes everything better so that's what you add butter for that's why you add it last the same recipe you can make it in smaller quantity than this you can make it bigger you can use this to make all kinds of pies that you want to make or parfaits or something quick or a strawberry shortcake very good strawberry shortcake There you have it. Nice. See how the how the velvet is? You better tell you, better make it. And it comes together very nice. And then you let it cool off, and then you just assemble the pie. Yes. So it's the same essential way your, your mom used to do it out of the box. So instead of cook it, same thing, but this is the long version. Okay. All right. And we're going to break. Thank you. some of the pies so these lovely young ladies and the guests can taste it okay so um, I already have pastry cream that's cooled off and I already have my vanilla wafers that are crumbled up so let's get to making this pie all right first off take your pastry cream put it in the bottom of the pan you can assemble it any way you want to if you want to put bananas on the bottom the top through it it's not any right or wrong about it it's just how you feel so, smooth that out some. I like my stuff in layers, so that's how we're going to make this one today. So, there's good. Okay. Okay. All right, take your bananas. You can have as many or as little bananas as you want. Again, this is your pie. You do what you want to, however you feel. You know, some people like chocolate chips. Um, sometimes I make it banana pudding with Hennessy in it. People like that very much. <laughs> um, some people like it with strawberries or Oreos or, you know, fudge. Some people like it with peanut butter. Again, it's all about preference. And it's your pie. So however you feel, that's what you do. But today we're just making simple banana pudding pie. Okay, spread the bananas around. That's our bananas. And I like to add a layer of cookies for some crunch. I like that. So I just have some crumbled vanilla wafers right here. Spread it around. No right or wrong. 
They could like a lot of cookies, a lot of cookies it is. A little bit, a little bit. Some people like banana pudding without bananas. I don't get that one either, but hey, I get that all the time. Can I have banana pudding without bananas? Okay, sure, why not? Again, another layer of pastry cream. smooth it out, make it look kind of pretty. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're gonna eat this once you get done anyway, but you know, just in case you haven't guessed and you wanna look like, you know, the hospitable, you know. But this is about you today. How about you guys? Smooth out your pie. Okay. And again, for this one, some people prefer whipped cream, some people don't. For this one, we're just gonna do it without whipped cream, we're just gonna cover it in cookies. But for the lovely ladies and our lovely guests, we have a finished pie with whipped cream on it. So you guys get the full take of it all. Yeah, yes. Y'all excited? Come on, you can pie. I'm excited. All right, let's move that out. And again, some more cookies. And this one, we're covering it completely in cookies, so you get that full grandma effect. You know, grandma didn't care. Grandma threw everything on top of the pie, or the banana pudding, you better eat it. Because she didn't want to make it no way. So, this is my grandma did. My grandma always wanted to make it food. She wanted to make it fat. Dessert wasn't her thing. Now, if you want some sausages or something like that, grandma had you. But dessert, not really. Alright. Okay. After you do the pie, you decorate it. However you feel, like I said, what is with whipped cream? No whipped cream, extra cookies, no cookies, however you feel. You're gonna wanna let this sit in the fridge for at least two hours so it gets nice and firm. So when you cut it, it's good to go. <clears throat> okay, everybody see the pot? Everybody see the pot? Good, ready? All right. Okay. Let me clean all this up and then we're gonna taste the pie, which you always fuck, because y'all not saying nothing. Y'all just like, what a food that? <laughs> when she gonna let us some food? But that's, a, that's how I should be. I should be excited to have pie. Okay, and we're going on break. <laughs> behind me to taste her pie so let me slice it for them and these ladies are so eager they don't want any plates they're going to be straight out the pan and hey they're my type of women the best way yes mm -hmm. yes right. i'm just cutting it for y'all y'all do what you wish special for you thank you special for you, you, special for you. Mm -hmm. you oh you guys want this good stuff for you <laughs> and the good stuff thank for you thank you go ladies try to pass i want you to do yeah, y'all, yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah, no, no, don't shy. This is really good. Yeah. Did you get the banana? Nice and light. Did you get the extra banana? That's yeah. really yeah. good. Better than the patty pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. So for this one, for the ladies, the bananas are cooked down and um, rum, actually. So this one's a little little extra. I mean, extra special for you. That's what that's about. Yeah, yeah, extra special. <laughs> so the shortbread crust on this one, you can get a pan that's not pre-made. You can make it yourself. It's all about preference. I made it more, you know, semi-homemade for ladies. So if they want to make something for themselves, it'll go easier. So since the crust, I put the bananas on the bottom. Nice and sexy, all over pudding. Some cookies and some rum. Good to go? That's good. Thank right. you. Yes. All right. Okay, so, um, so how did you learn how to bake? Because I'm not good at it, so I want to know your secret. Well, actually, I've been cooking since I was three. So, three. I've been cooking. Three. My mama taught me how to fry chicken at three years old. Okay. I always liked to cook. My grandma was actually a, a personal chef, so uh, cooking's always been around. My mama likes to cook, she likes to bake, but me, actually, I went to school to be a chef. Wow. Lo and behold, no. I want to be an pastry chef. 
but it's okay. So basically, um, I do how to bake a little bit already, but when I went to my Lakes Tech, it was a requirement that you had to learn everything. So back of the house, the kitchen, front of the house, being a waiter, cashier, everything. So I took baking for six months. So I cooked uh, cakes, pies, um, Jewish stuff, um, Russian stuff, everything. I learned everything that you make, I learned how to make. So when I went to, <clears throat> I'm sorry, when I went to Johnson & Wales to further my education, I also had to bake more than so. And, you know, I was like baking, but it wasn't, you know, I was like, I was determined I'm going to be culinary chef. That's going to be me. I got into my internship and um, I wound up going there in the summertime. So in the summer, you go everywhere. You bounce like a gopher. So wherever they need you to go, that's where you went. So when I first started, I was in banquets. Then two weeks later, they put me in the kitchen, the, not the kitchen, but in the restaurant area. So at that time, a young lady was going on vacation to do a pastry. So I literally had to learn how to do her job in 14 hours. Wow. Like, yeah, hey, you go to work today and you gotta be somebody else tomorrow, everything. So I wound up doing pastry then for the rest of my internship because I worked in a restaurant. So I did the bread, I did the tarts, I did everything else. So yeah, I was like, okay, not so bad. You know, I worked in the, in the restaurant, so it, it's a little different, but it, it wasn't bad. So long and behold, my internship was over, the pastry chef offered me a job. I was like, I guess so. You know, because it's right down the street from the school. I don't know to work. I still got school. Well, they offered me a job part-time while I was still in college. And when I graduated Johnson Wells in 2005, I was a full-time employee at Turnberry. Awesome. And I did not leave the pastry shop until I resigned in 2017. Wow. So I have been baking like crazy since then. So, I mean, I grow to love it. I still cook, but my thing is pastry. I, I get more joy in making desserts than I do cooking. So we have had a great time with each other, us ladies, and just a couple of uh, tidbits or some advice that I would give um, to you is glow. Um, glow. Let your light shine. The men will see your good works and glorify your Father. The next thing is L. Lean out onto your own understanding. Um, go for it. It may not make sense now, but just continue to go forward. Um, o. Be open to receive all that's for you. Be optimistic. And W, walk it out. You don't know where you're going, but you know that you're going somewhere. Um, and in many cases, you know where you're going. You just don't know sometimes what you have to go through to get to what you want. So, glow, glow, glow. Amen. <laughs>